The state of Missouri is asking the U.S. Supreme Court to revive a controversial gun law called the Second Amendment Preservation Act. In this week's Legal Lens segment, Fox 2's Jeff Bernthal asked Brown and Crouppen attorney Andrea McNary about the significance of this legal challenge. So, Andrea, uh, what are we talking about here with the uh, Missouri Second Amendment Preservation Act? So, the Second Amendment Preservation Act basically declared that any federal statutes that impose taxes and fees on firearms or requires uh, certain things for gun ownership or registration would violate the Second Amendment. And what it did was empower Missouri uh, private litigants to sue local officials for actually following any of the federal laws. And I know when we have these situations where you have state laws and, and federal laws sort of colliding, uh, we hear about the uh, supremacy clause in the U.S. Constitution. Just exactly what is that and, and how does that come into play here? The supremacy clause establishes that the federal government and the federal constitution take precedence over state law, even over state constitutions. So it prohibits states from interfering with the federal government's exercise of its constitutional powers. Um, and what that does is basically make your rights and your expectations of the laws consistent from state to state on certain subjects uh, such as those guaranteed in the Constitution. So what is the, the I guess, the essential argument that the, that the state is making on why the Preservation Act should be reinstated? So after the Preservation Act uh, was passed, the U.S. Justice Department said that Missouri's laws was in conflict with, within conflict within federal uh, law. And so basically what's happening now is after a, uh, that decision striking down Missouri's law was upheld on the appellate level. It's now being appealed to the Supreme Court to decide if Missouri's law is constitutional. And what is sort of the timeline or the landmark dates uh, in this case? Well, so realistically, once the Department of Justice actually responds, um, there may not be any argument at all. So, you know, once there is a response and, and perhaps a sir response, um, you know, we can expect the court to rule, you know, in short order, I would think. Andrea McNary with Brown and Crouppen, it's a big issue. I know a lot of people are following. We appreciate you uh, helping break it down for us. As always, thanks for your time. You're welcome. Jeff Berthal, Fox 2 News. You can catch The Legal Lens on Fox 2 every Wednesday at 6 p.m.